and welcome. <laughs> welcome to today's video. Yes, my hair is different. You're finally getting to see my cut. I went quite short. I've got this pixie bob and I just love it. I love how I can play with it and fluff it up and give it a lot of different volume. I can wear it on either comb to either side. I can poof it up. I can wear it very sleek. I love it. Here's the back. You guys know that I've been, you know, on a mission to try to improve my hair. So I went big time and uh, cut off a lot of it. I kind of wanted to start over, so that's what we did. And speaking of hair, I have a great sponsor today. Zuvi is the sponsor. Don't know if you've heard of them, but it's a hair dryer that uses LED light technology and high powered air to dry your hair rather than those high heat temperatures that can really damage your hair. Zuvi is all about taking care of your hair, and so I'm gonna have more on that later. Today we're gonna to talk about how to look expensive, whether you spend a lot of money or not. Looking expensive, looking classy, looking elegant, whatever word you want to use for it, I think that's something that we all want to do, right? So I'm gonna show you some ways that you can up your style and always look expensive. So let's get on with the try-ons. Up next, I have this gorgeous blouse that I found on Amazon. Actually, I'm copying a look. <laughs> I saw Miss Melissa M on her channel wear this blouse and I thought it was so gorgeous that I wanted to try it myself. And it is gorgeous. I'm wearing it in a size medium. And in the first look, I put it on here with the, the navy linen skirt that is from Banana Republic Factory that you've seen me wear in a previous video. This is just a really classy and elegant looking outfit that you could wear to work, wear to any kind of function. This just goes to show that you don't have to spend a lot of money to look classy and look elegant. It's all in how you put these pieces together. And I decided to try this blouse with another outfit. I have these faux leather Sofia Vergara shorts that uh, I showed you guys in a previous haul. And I think I like the blouse even better with these shorts. The neutral color of these shorts really lets this blouse shine and be the star of the outfit without competing against anything else. Again, I'm wearing the same sandals. This blouse has little gathers here at the shoulders to give just a little bit of volume buttons all the way down, and it kind of has these long cuffs are actually too long for me, so I cuffed them up so they wouldn't be sliding down over my hands. But I am hard to fit in button-up blouses because I do have a larger bust, but this one is not gapping. I can button it just fine, so I love it. And I think this pattern is just so feminine and so pretty. And some of you know, looking expensive or classy and put together isn't just about the clothes you wear. Grooming has a big impact on whether you look expensive or classy or not. Keeping our nails done, and you don't even have to use polish, just keep your nails nice and trimmed and buffed if you don't wear polish. Making sure those cuticles aren't raggedy, not chewing on your nails. Also, feet, <laughs> especially as we're going into spring and summer sandal season, you gotta take care of those feet. A touch of makeup. It doesn't have to be a full face of makeup, but just a little bit of lip gloss and mascara goes a long way. And of course, our hair. Hair is really the ultimate accessory, in my opinion. And I've had a lot of fun over the years playing with different hairstyles. But as I've gotten older, my hair is definitely changing. It's not the hair it used to be. So I am on a journey to get my hair healthy again. So when the people at Zuvi reached out to me about sponsoring this video, it could not have come at a better time. Have you heard of Zuvi? The Zuvi hairdryer has been called the Tesla of hair dryers. It uses infrared light and high powered air to dry your hair with less heat and less damage. So you can say goodbye to heat damage and hello to healthy hair. The Zuvi has four different drying modes, 
care, fast, soft, and style. And you can see the colors of the infrared light changing as I cycle through the different drying modes here. Now when you first begin drying your hair and it's wet and you've put in your product, you've put in your heat protectant, you still want to do that, you want to knock a lot of the moisture out before you start styling. And for that, I'm using the fast mode. With the fast mode, you don't use any attachment. You just use the dryer and just kind of rough dry your hair to get a lot of that moisture out before you really go in and start styling. And if you're someone with a sensitive scalp, there's the care setting that has a lower heat for you. Or if you have very damaged fine hair, that's a great setting to use for you. And there's a care setting on here. The care setting blows out softer. So it's perfect for using with children in case, you know, they don't like a loud hair dryer that blows really hard a lot of the time. This is perfect for using around kids. So rough dry your hair first on that fast mode, and then you go in and add the styling attachment of your choice. There's the gentle air attachment, the diffuser. Now this is perfect if you have naturally curly or wavy hair and you're really trying to bring out that natural curl. This is one of the best diffusers that I, I have tried. It really diffuses the air. Sometimes they don't. This one really does. And so you can get great naturally curly or wavy looking hair with this diffuser. And the one that I will be using, the styling tool. With this attachment, you want to be sure and have it on the style setting and then you just use your your brush to dry your hair as you normally would and style it in lab testing the zuvi was shown to put out 39 percent less heat than a normal hair dryer colored hair was shown to have 57 percent better color retention and the hair was shown to have 109 percent more moisture retention with the zuvi it won an Allure Best of Beauty Award in 2022 and a Time Magazine Invention Award for 2022. Mother's Day is coming up and so this would be a great gift for a mother or a daughter that's a mother or anyone that needs a Mother's Day gift. This would be fabulous. My hair is so much shinier since I've been using this Zuvi. I love the attachments. They click on with a magnet and stay on very securely and not to mention it's so lightweight much lighter than your traditional hair dryer so that would make it great for travel because it won't weigh down your bag use my link below to shop zuvi and you'll receive 10 percent off your first order so i encourage you to check it out and thanks again to zuvi for sponsoring today's video so most of us live in jeans right or at least a lot of the time and you may be thinking oh jeans cannot be elegant well they may not be elegant but you can look more expensive a little more classy your jeans outfits now here in this first look you know i've got some distressed jeans they're a very light wash got the knees blown out just a plain white t-shirt and some sandals and you know a look like this there is a time and place for a look like this but if your goal is to look more elevated more expensive then this is probably not the look you need to wear here's another way to wear jeans and look more expensive first of all skip the distressing just no distressing on your jeans if you're going for a classy expensive look and choose some that are a medium to dark wash the darker the wash you know the more dressy they're going to look and instead of a t-shirt and flip-flops try a blouse like this one i have on here and this blouse is from amazon and i think it's just beautiful i love blue and white you know i have a lot of blue and white in my house and that's probably why i was drawn to this blouse and i'm wearing it in a size medium by the way and I just tucked it into my jeans. These are from Madewell. They are the kick-out crop jeans. And I love these. They are fitted through the hips and thighs and then have kind of a little kick-out at the bottom. 
and they run very true to size. I am wearing a size 28. And then put on some heels and a little summery bag. And this is a much more elevated jeans look for spring. And Another myth I want to debunk is the myth that you have to spend a lot of money to look classy or to look expensive. And that could not be farther from the truth. The fact is spending a lot of money isn't necessarily going to make you look expensive or classy. You can find classy and classic items at all price points. So don't think you have to go out and spend a lot of money. But one thing in my closet that I have worn a ton is this dress from Cupshe. I got this last year when I did a Cupshe sponsored video and it has been one of my most worn dresses. It's just a classic fit sheath style dress. It's knit so it's very comfortable. I think the key to wearing something that is more fitted like this is to wear it longer. You know, if you're going to wear something form-fitting and show your shoulders and all your arms and everything, let it go a little longer like this dress does. Don't wear a bodycon mini dress. That is showing too much skin. You know, the college age girls, they can get away with that, but on older women or even women in their 30s and 40s, that's not going to be a classy or elegant look. And if I can't find this exact one, I will find one similar for you. It is so versatile. You can dress it up here with heels and a little clutch, put on some fancier jewelry, and this is a great evening kind of look. You can wear it to any kind of evening event party, whatever, or you can dress this totally down and wear it with some sneakers and a denim jacket, and that is a great look as well. So this is just a really versatile piece, and I think it's totally age appropriate for us, and it will have you looking more expensive. So this time of year is when a lot of us have functions to attend, whether it's religious celebrations, bridal showers, baby showers, graduations, Mother's Day. There are a lot of occasions when we need a nice dress to wear. So I ordered three different dresses from Nordstrom Rack to try, and I'm trying them all on for you here. They're all under $100, and I encourage you guys to shop Nordstrom Rack. You can find fabulous deals there, either in store or online. I, I ordered these online. So this first dress is by Vince Camuto, and it is this really happy floral on a navy background. And yes, I know in another video I said to avoid large floral print things because they can age us, and that is true but I think it has a lot to do with the cut of the dress or the garment as much as it does the pattern. And this one is borderline. It's a bold pattern, so I, I don't know if this one's gonna be a keeper or not, but I love the fit of this dress. It's got this pretty neckline, and it is a perfect A-line kind of dress. This is going to be great. For you ladies who have wider hips or larger thighs and butt area, this dress is for you because it really accentuates the waist and then it has these pleats and gathers in the skirt that just make it float away from your body. And it even works on someone like me who isn't shaped like that because it gives me that illusion of the hourglass figure. And with all the busyness of this pattern, I thought, you know, shoes, you want to keep it simple. A pair of nude heels or nude pumps, nude sandals is definitely the way to go. If you like this dress, then one mistake that I think could make you look cheaper or not as classy is trying to match a color. You know, don't get navy shoes to wear with this dress, but don't wear green shoes with this dress. That is not going to make you look classy or elegant. Just wear something else very subdued like a nude shoe and let the dress really shine. So the shoes I'm wearing with this dress are these mule heels. These are from Dream, Dream Pairs. You've seen me do Dream Pairs on here before. I love this brand. They're very affordable and comfortable. 
and this whole strap across here it's very padded and, and cushy so it's very comfortable on your foot and that's about a three inch heel which is about as high as i can go anymore but they are a great shoe to have in your wardrobe when you need a heel and want that nude shoe that's going to go with everything here's another very chic and elegant dress that will have you looking expensive this dress is from calvin klein and it may be coming across here on screen as black but it's actually navy that's another tip navy is a very elevated color to wear and for those of us who are getting older navy is much more forgiving next to our faces than black is i still love my black but i'm leaning toward navy more and more it's just as classic and can look just as chic and expensive this dress is totally one that i would have worn back in the day when i was going to the office every day it has a beautiful fit and this dress creates its own jewelry in a way because you've got the gold details, the gold zipper, the gold zippers on the pockets. So when your dress has this kind of stuff going on, it's best to keep your jewelry to a minimum. I'm wearing just some tiny little gold hoops. These are actually the same Kendra Scott earrings. I just took the dangly part off because they're convertible. So I just have very simple, plain gold earrings. But this dress is perfect for your graduations, your work if you're still working in an office somewhere and i really feel like nude pumps is the way to go with this particular dress and sadly i don't have any nude pumps that's something i'm on the lookout for is a good pair of nude pumps i am making do with these slide sandals that i just showed you with the other dress and they have a nice heel. This is a good heel height for a dress like this. I think this is just such a classy and elegant looking dress that is sure to have you looking expensive. In this next look, I have another floral dress. This time it's by DKNY, and it is a much smaller scale print floral than that first one I showed you. This dress is great because it covers your arms. I know the first two didn't, and a lot of you like to cover your arms. This one covers your arms, but it's sheer. It's sheer fabric, so this is not going to overheat you. It's got a nice V-neck to elongate your neck and give you a thinner appearance this is a wonderful neckline but it's not so low that it's going to show your bra or anything like that it has kind of this fit and flare style with a little bit of a ruffle around the hemline and I think this dress is just gorgeous and again it may be coming across black on screen but this is actually navy blue navy blue and the flowers have real pale lavender in them so love this one and i don't think i mentioned but i'm wearing a size six in all of these dresses with exception of the black cup sheet and that is a size medium none of these are petite dresses these are all regular size six and miraculously they have all fit me so sometimes you know paying a little bit more money i'm not talking about super expensive but paying a little bit more does give you a better fit in things i have found that to be the case so these are very nice dresses but affordable all less than a hundred dollars and i'll have everything linked that i showed in today's video down in the description box and in a pinned comment so thanks again to zuvi for sponsoring today and don't forget that you can get 10% off your purchase if you use my link down in the description below. Mother's Day is coming up, so maybe your mom, your daughter, your sister, whoever, maybe they would like one of these hair dryers and they want to take better care of their hair. This is the perfect gift. Thank you all for joining me here today. I appreciate you. And until I see you in my next video, have a stylish day. Bye-bye.